Alec Baldwin entered his plea online and also waived his right to a virtual court hearing set for Friday. Prosecutors accuse the 30 Rock actor, 64, of criminal negligence, and he faces up to 18 months in prison if found guilty. The film star submitted his plea on Thursday, according to documents obtained by Page Six. Additionally, Mr. Baldwin is not allowed to drink alcohol, own a gun nor talk to potential witnesses besides discussing the continuation of filming Rust. On Wednesday, Rust's producers said they would resume filming in the spring after shifting location to Montana. The charge Mr. Baldwin is facing was filed by prosecutors in Santa Fe County, New Mexico, where the film was being made when the shooting took place in October 2021. The actor was expected to be arraigned on February 25th and he reportedly no longer needs to appear in court on Friday. Anna Gutierrez Reed, the film's armorer, is also accused of involuntary manslaughter. Prosecutors say Ms. Gutierrez Reed, 25, failed to ensure that dummy bullets were loaded into the gun that killed Ms. Hutchins, 42. She is due to make a court appearance on Friday afternoon. Previously Mr. Baldwin's lawyer, Luke Nikas, said his client had no reason to believe there was a live bullet in the gun, or anywhere on the movie set. He relied on the professionals with whom he worked, who assured him the gun did not have live rounds. The actor has already settled a civil lawsuit brought by Heine's widower, Matthew. Her family in Ukraine are also now suing him separately. The cinematographer died on the set of Rust in New Mexico after Mr. Baldwin allegedly fired a prop gun. The family has been devastated by the shocking killing of Ms. Hutchins, their attorney Gloria Ulred said. Loss of consortium is a claim which seeks to recover compensation for damage to certain relationships that are mutually dependent. The lawsuit, brought by Ms. Hutchins' mother, father and sister, was announced earlier this month at a press conference held by high-profile U.S. lawyer Gloria Ulred. It's clear to us that the relationships of all of our clients have been damaged, and that they will not be able to enjoy life in the same way as they did when their precious Heine was alive, Ms. Ulrid said. Heine was the light in their lives, of course, and for all of our three clients that tragic loss of their daughter and sister is heartbreaking. Ms. Hutton's family is currently residing in Ukraine, near Kyiv, amid the conflict with Russia, but intends to come to the U.S. in the coming months, Ms. Ulrid said. She also claimed that Mr. Baldwin never contacted Heine's parents after her death.